Hi everyone, I have a few of my newest little wire wrapped uh, cabochon necklaces that I want to share with you that I have done just this week. Um, uh, well, last week, <laughs> or last week and a week before that, you know, and um, some have sold and I'll show pictures of them too. So stick with me and I'll, we'll get into all this in just a second. Hello everyone. As you can see on my face, I have had another lupus bout. It lasted about two days and today, that was last week, and then today I feel like I'm having a little bit of a a secondary one because my joints and everything are hurting <laughs> and you feel hot and like you're about to um, or like you're recovering from a major surgery you know so if you've ever had surgery and you know how it feels that icky just really tired and fatigue feeling that's that's what it feels like and then all my joints my like my neck and my shoulders and my elbows are in my hands the joints in them and everything is just really really bad um and that's what affects me when i do my crafting and here lately i've been doing the wire wrapped cabochons for pendants and stuff no this one is not one that i made this has a labrador in it and you know so i unboxed this with y'all i think in one of my videos way back you know from aliexpress but um these are real fun there's a lot of tutorials on youtube that you can follow to learn how to wire wrap your own jewelry making jewelry is really simple and the more you practice the better you get and then there are some that uh you have to throw away now or you take the wire off and you start again and that's the good thing about it now there was one that um i didn't have the I was trying to make an owl out of uh a little bit the main wires was a little bit too soft and so it was getting out of shape the more I, that I was trying to get it in shape. So, <laughs> because I have these big, strong horse riding, out farm building, hay lifting type hands, um, <laughs> it's, I've got to adjust my wires and stuff to see which ones are going to work best for me. And I am successful in what I do have. Um, I've only had to throw out one, which I picked up the other day. And I looked at it and I said, well, I don't know why I was so upset. It looks looks fine. It's just I felt like the eyes was getting bigger and bigger because it was sliding out and sliding in. And I don't have the half round and I don't have the square and the, some of that stuff. But you learn and to go through those and figure out what works best for you. Um, you may not want to make your own jewelry. You may just like watching it made. That's great. And that's, that's all the better. I mean, not all of us want to do what other people do, but they like to watch the uh, making of it. So today I wanted to show you some of the stones that I have. I have several types of ja two jasper here one labradorite and i think this these two are rhodon rhodolite rhodolites yep nope and they're getting stuck together okay i'm going to show you the jasper ones first and these are the little simple these are what they call simple um starter wire wraps Let's see if I can get that in there and let you see if it will. Um, there we go. You can see just how that one, it's a cabochon with no hole in it. And you learn how to wire wrap it in a way. And here's the back. A lot of people don't want to show the back because, you know, they don't want people copying them. 
Who cares? Oh my gosh. Everybody looks a little different anyways. It's not like everybody, oh, this is my style and nobody can do it. And you can see on camera, it's not even. That's that hand-woven, hand-wire-wrapped way to do it. Okay? It's okay if it doesn't look perfect. And I love the two different colors of copper. Now, this will, over time, the lighter one, um, get a patina on it, which then it'll, it'll just make its own look. So, yeah, so they're pretty, they're pretty big. You can see how long that is, and then the bail is pretty big, and it's just wire wrapped around, and you, you learn how to do it, and you do tutorials that shows how to do it, and if I can remember the artist on YouTube, I will, that I got this one from, I'll put it here, who it was, and in the description below so you can go and look and maybe learn how to do it yourself. Okay, and they're very nice, uh, the ladies and, and the gentlemen that, um, I think this is a, a gentleman's uh, tutorial. And here's another one that, uh, let's do that. Okay. You can see the difference in this Jasper. It's a little bit different. It's the same wrap. This one I was a little bit harder because I used I did have a square type wire and it was very hard. So it I kind of roughed up some of the ends trying to get it to come out the way it needed to. So um, and it's the same design. I just did a little a little bit. Uh, uh, this one actually I did before the other one that the first one that you saw so this is while I was watching the tutorial so these are the same design and I will put this up here so you can see the difference in both of them well if I can get them to be a little different you can see, even though you do the same design on two cabochons, they still look a little different just by the coloring. So, and each stone is a little different. These That style works really well with the oval shape. You can use probably, or this kind of shape too that I'm about to show you, but I did use, a. Uh, this is one of the simplest right here. This is like the very first one I did. Um, well, I did the owls first. I learned how to do the owls first, which is kind of hard. Not really hard. It's just you, you follow it step by step and you're able to do it. And if you mess up, start over. Do it again until you get it done. It, it's fun. Even the best wire wrappers have to start over. So it's just par with a course. Now here's a Labradorite teardrop cabochon if it will finally, um, if it will, there we go. Well, it still seems a little blurry. Okay, now you can see that light and color, that blue flash in there, in that. Labradorite, and you can see it's a very simple design, very simple design, and you can flip it over, and the back looks a lot like the, the front, just ha doesn't have the uh, um, embellishments on that side, like this side does, like this little bead. These little seed beads. I put little seed beads on there. I thought that was cute to try to um, mimic uh, or bring out that blue that's in that cabochon. So that's another um, simple one that you can. Um, this lady is the one that I learned this from. And here's another one in that same style, but I went a little crazy with it. Uh, <laughs> but I used pink. Uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Is this, that's the back. 
Showing you the back first. Great. <laughs> now here is the it's pink wire. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I'm trying to get it to to focus. Come on, focus. This is a really pretty one. Up here. Focus right here. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking it may be focused. I hope it is. Doesn't look like it <laughs> on my end, but there, I think it's focused now. But that is the pink, the pink wire. You can get coated wire that is pink. Now, when you're practicing and making things, at first you can get your wire from Home Depot, but they're limited on what type, what strength, you know, the gauge, you know, like 20 gauge, and you don't want to go um, 18 when you're just learning. You don't want to go 18 gauge or anything like that, but, or low like that. The lower the number, the harder it's going to be. So you would want to go uh, 20s and up for, um, I use the, try to use your, the heavier wire for your, for the base and then the, the ones that you, you use for the, the wire wrapping, the little, the little uh, wrapping like down here at the bottom of this one, down here, if it will do it. I'm hoping it will. Okay, there at the bottom, you can see that there there is another wire. It's a silver wire, and I believe it's a 22. And I just I started out wrapping around the main pink wire right there, and I added some flourishing little things up the top with the leftover wire. When you wrap, wrap, you'll have leftover wires at the end, and you can do stuff with those. That's what I was doing. Um, so that's a, uh, these two are the same. These look, I, I do it the backwards, don't I? Let's do this. Figure it out, Lara. Figure it out, Mim. <laughs> Y'all call me Mim. My grandbabies call me Mim. And that's backwards. So let's get these things up here. Come on. So we can look at them like that. Oh, come on. Okay. There we go. You can see they're the same sort of wire wrap where you come in to hold that in the front and hold it in the back. So, yeah. Yep. So, yeah. And it starts out at the bottom where you wire wrap. Um, this one actually starts off in the bottom where you wrap that bottom first. And then at the end, you'll do your, you'll do your bail. So, very easy. This is very simple. Very, very simple. You should be able to, um, and it's, this thing has the horriblest, uh, this camera has the horriblest, uh, <gasps> zoom. See my brain? I can't really quick, I'll have, I can't finish sentences sometimes and I can't finish words but and they'll be in here and I know what I'm trying to say and it just will not trump out. Mm. Here is the only uh owl that I have left and I'm fixing to make some more. Um and I my cousin up in North Carolina it fell in love with them and I had made she had bought four and a three and a uh tree of love. A little bitty moonstone tree of love, and I and I'll show you the pictures of of those in a minute. But um, these, this is like the the little owls that she bought, and this one I used the silver, I mean the pink 
base wire, which is really soft. It's hard to work with because it was so soft and you have so many different things you got to do with this. Um, and my hands, and you have to hold it while you're doing other things. And I, I tend to squeeze. And sometimes the owls don't make it, but it's okay. And I made my own bail with this one. But anyways, um, this is the little owl. I know y'all going to go crazy over this little owl once it focuses in on it. Let me get it off my knuckles. That's not good. There we go. You can see that little owl in there. And um, this usually, this version usually doesn't have the bottom part here that goes across. It usually just goes up in the V for the for the wings. But because um, I, I started with, let's see, it wasn't a true round. It's usually for round cabochons. And so I added that just to give it a little bit more stability in there and it won't lose it. And I kind of like it because it looks like it's little feet hanging on a branch. But I really like that. I, I actually added that to this. So you can follow along and make your own changes as you go. You don't have to necessarily always do exactly like a tutorial. So it's just really a starting point. So, yeah, I love these. I was waiting on this thing to quit being blurry, but, you know, is Zoom. I mean, not Zoom, um, Focus is not doing too well. The only thing on this one is I did forget to lock the... Um, no, I did it. I did it. Never mind. One of them that I made, I forgot to lock the eyes at the at, to the beak. Um, and the reason you do that is you don't want it getting caught on stuff on the clothes and it getting moved. Because this wire, it, this pink wire is really soft and can move re really easy. But a lot of times you can just move it back, you know. Um, and I will tell whoever buys them if they have any issues, I'll help them get it back the way it was or or refund it or make them another one so i do want to uh stand behind what i make um so i'm going to put them all here on my hand if i can do it so you can see them all together and i hope i hope that some of you that do wire wrapping will share that with me um or i mean you can go on my facebook page and, and send me the pictures of your stuff and i'll put it on um my mem's house oops i let go my mem's house facebook page let's see i need to put that see now oh well anyways we'll do that like this we'll do this we'll see if we can't get them to be a little different there we go. See all of them there together. So each one is a little different from the other one, even though some of them have the same wrap. Um, they look a little different because of the stones in them. Uh, yeah, like you can go on my Facebook page and you can send me the picture or try to post it if it works on your end to post. I don't know how it's set up. I mean, I can't remember how I set it up, whether you can or not, but I do love it if you will show me your, your things that you are doing, even if you just send it through Messenger on Facebook on Mim's House. Remember, it's M-I-M-S-H-O-W-S-E, like uh, at, Pig, you know, Piglet's House, his little sign on there was H-O-W-S-E. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed these. These are what I've been doing, and I'm going to show you right here the pictures uh, of the ones that I sent my cousin that she fell in love with, and um, I'm so tickled that she liked them. I'm very surprised uh, that that they uh, that everybody loved them so much. <laughs> so.
and when I posted them on Facebook to show them off. I love them. I was so excited of, about them. I said, really, I used to do just really freeform wire wrapping of the the stones, just twisting them and doing all kinds of ways with them. <clears throat> and there's no really rhyme or reason, which is beautiful too. But I also wanted to try some of these others that are controlled and are um, more like settings. So uh, I'm really falling in love with this, enjoying doing them, but they do cause my hands and my arms to really puff up the next day. And uh, I, did a, I did like three or four, and then I put together a new desk for our computers in the living room, and it literally, it sparked a lupus episode and I'm telling you what it took a few days to get over that and then I was back to wire wrapping again my husband come in and he says you're just gonna make your hands swell up again they're gonna hurt again I said I know but I love it I think it's it's fun <laughs> so yeah so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video God bless each and every one of you I do have one little pet peeve thing or not pet peeve but a little issue that's going on in the what I heard in the news and uh, I was coming home and sometimes I listen to Fox News on my <coughs> excuse me getting a little hoarse um, there's a lot of pollen here lately but uh, there was, this is so ridiculous y'all this is so ridiculous wait till you hear it I can't hardly even put my words for it or words around it to or to, to tell you it's so ridiculous. Okay. And I should have printed out the news article so I could read it to you exactly how this professor at a college said this. Because I know lots of you out there are women and I do have men also that watch the jewelry wrapping and things like that. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. But this right here, I could not believe. I, it's a wonder I didn't wreck when I heard it. It's awful. It's stupid. It's the most... <laughs> Give me a moment. You'll understand. It'll all make sense. Okay, a prof college professor declared that if you like to have a clean, organized pantry, you might be racist, sexist, and all of those things just because you like to organize and have a nice, clean kitchen or a clean pantry. It's, she was really focusing on a pantry being organized and clean. You know, like the people like, so I do, I put my all my soups in certain areas where I can read it, make sure I'm not getting out the wrong soup, wrong vegetable. Um, I try not to mix things because I uh, have sometimes, and it being really in a pinch for time that I've grabbed things that I think is all in one and open it up and then, oh, I've opened up the wrong thing. That don't go in this recipe. Yeah, that happens. And it's because you've mixed things around in there. Mine is not the absolute, absolute, just OCD, like. <laughs> but can you believe this? I'll give you a moment to laugh, to finish laughing, or breathe, you know. Or get back in the chair that you were sitting in, or couch. You can pause it and tell your whole family so they all can laugh about it. But anyways, yeah, that's this week's kind of stupidity right there. And I need to get more information about it and put the little information up here. So that way you can see that I'm not making this stuff up. This is just ridiculous. 
ridiculous. How can they deduce that down to people and skin color and and races or anything like that? How can they? Because you have a clean pantry, a, a, a an organized pantry. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Fox News was discussing this because they thought it was ridic ridiculous as well. And they literally have several white people, several black people, several, you know, and <laughs> they're the ones that was reading it, the, 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 the host and this other one, and, they, and they're sitting there talking about how their pantries, they love to have their pantries clean and organized. And they're black. I mean, what is this person actually saying when they say this? Are they trying to pin the fact, or tr are they trying to accuse that only certain race has cleanly organized spaces? I, I don't know. But that's what it sounds like. It sounds like she's accusing and pinning, pinning certain types of cleanliness with certain types of people. Um, that sounds more along the lines of what she's accusing people of herself. So, I mean, really, I'm going to leave the information of it. If I can find that news, uh, a link to that actual news that I was listening to in, on my radio in my truck, yeah, I have serious radio because we love the, um, we have the uh, bluegrass gospel music like uh, Ralph Stanley and Allison Krauss is on there with the bluegrass the Bible, I mean, gospel songs. And I'm telling you what, beautiful when Allison Krauss sings gospel songs. So, and I like the old time gospel songs. I'm not big on the quartets. Because they always end the songs the same way, but I'm I'm digressing again, again, and again. I digress. Anyways, but I'll put that link to that information down below, and you can see for yourself that I'm not <laughs> making that one up. So leave leave it in the comments. Are you OCD? Do you have that where you have to have your pantry and just pristine order, uh, categorized, and all this stuff. And also, tell me what you think about the wire wrapping pendants, and which is your favorite, and all of that crazy great stuff I love to read. Sometimes it takes me a, few, a week or two to get back to reading some of my comments. Sometimes I'll go right to it. and It just depends on how I feel and and what's going on, if we have some craziness going on, which we usually always have craziness here. <laughs> so, I will see you in the next video. We love you. God bless you. And remember, Jesus died for each and every one of us because he loved us and wanted us with him. He didn't want us to not be able to go to heaven. He wants us in heaven. And he gives us a free gift to choose and I'm so glad that he does and that he gave us free will to choose because who wants robotic love? You know, people that are automatically loving and not really true. And not. He wants that true-hearted person to love him. And that's why he doesn't show himself to us and do miracles right here. But I have, I have seen where he is, his footsteps in, in things in my life. So I just want to end with that, that Jesus loves you and he cares for you even if you don't believe in him. He does. He died for you too, even if you don't believe in him. I promise you, I'm not lying to you. And just pray to him and ask him to show you that he loves you. And I will see you in the next video. I know I already said that. Bye. Thank you.